Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs. Looking to breed dart frogs but not having much luck? Let me share five tips that we use at Josh's Frogs to achieve maximum breeding results with our dart frogs while keeping them healthy. The first tip is to raise your own breeding stock. It may be tempting to go out and purchase sexed adult dart frogs, but you'll have much better luck raising your own. By raising froglets to adulthood, you'll have more time to figure your animals out and gain more experience caring for dart frogs. You can also ensure your frogs are getting the best nutrition and growing conditions possible. In order to get a pair, Josh's Frogs recommends you purchase four to five froglets to raise. Secondly, pay attention to nutrition. Make sure your future breeders are getting the best nutrition possible. Josh's Frogs recommends rotating between RepCal Calcium with D3, RepCal Herptivite, and Rapashi Calcium Plus. Rotate in Rapashi Super Pig and Rapashi Vitamin A Plus every few weeks. Make sure you're feeding a varied diet, including pinhead crickets, fruit flies, rice flower beetles, springtails, isopods, and phoenix worms. Thirdly, cycling. Many dart frog populations experience a dry period in the wild, during which breeding slows down or stops. Replicate this in captivity by reducing misting and feeding for several weeks on end. Let your humidity fall to 70% or so, but make sure to provide a bit of standing water for your frogs. Reduce feedings by half. This will slow or stop your dart frogs from breeding and allow them time to stock up on fat soluble vitamins and other nutrients depleted by egg laying. After several weeks, resume typical misting and feeding. We're rewarded with larger clutches and healthier offspring by cycling our breeders. Fourthly, always provide clean sites for your frogs to lay their eggs and tailor those sites to your individual frog's needs. Rinse petri dishes at least once a week and regularly flush out water from film canisters. Some frogs have specific preferences such as film canister color or orientation. Observe your animals and provide them with what they prefer. Lastly, make sure to separate your breeders when needed. Adult dart frogs, especially females, can use an occasional break from breeding. If cycling does not completely stop breeding activity, remove the adult male frog from your vivarium and give both inhabitants a rest for a couple months. Only the best for you and yours from Josh's Frogs. Please visit joshesfrogs.com for details.